into a little patch kitchen today. Uh, today's video you are about to watch is uh, me dehydrating carrots. Now I just want to let you know the video footage is a little bit old um, from when I started first taking videos so it is a little bit clunky, some of the angles are not the best so but there is some really great information in there on the way that I do my carrots. So uh, like this shredded jar of, jar of shredded carrot here. Um, I no longer have any more of the carrot sticks that I did in the video um, because I've actually already used them all up in cooking. So um, there are videos that I'm putting out in the ways that I use all my dehydrated foods. So um, I'll at the end of this video link the uh, playlist to uh, my cooking list playlist and um, also you'll see a couple of times through the video itself a couple of links um, in regards to um, the way I dehydrate it all to the recipes uh, for that what I've used the different types of uh, dehydrated vegetables and stuff into so so yeah guys do take a really good look through it I've separated it into shredded carrot, how I do my shredded carrot and how I do my sliced carrot um, and at the end you'll see I messed up um, with some of my carrots um, so take a look at that as well and that is it's just something that happened at the time because um, a lot of you know I do work a 40 hour week plus I have four children um, one of them has left home and the other one is working but I still have the two here that I um, have here at home as well plus my husband and taking care of myself and the really large uh, garden beds that I have out there so uh, and like I said at the end it things do happen and sometimes you just can't get every single thing done that you want to get done in a day so but you guys please stick with the video take a good look at it and it will take you and throw show you um, so this video will show you how I've done my shredded carrot and my carrot sticks um, you can also but use the base same basics to do uh, diced carrot and your sliced carrots as well so I put it all into one video because there's no point in doing two videos when it's all basically the same way that you process it it just the fact that you do them differently like shredded or diced or sliced um, the carrots so Guys, thanks for coming along with the journey with me here today, and uh, I'll see you on the next vid. Morning, guys. Uh, this morning I have... I am actually going to be doing my carrots. I'm going to be doing them in a couple of different ways. Um, I'll be doing the dehydrating today. And I'm going to put a few away aside, sorry, for going some canning with them. So I'm only going to do one or two jars just to see if we like them done that way or not. So I'm going to be sorting these carrots into different sizes to do different things with them. So some of them I will be doing um, carrot sticks out of, so this sort of size one I'm just going to cut them down into four pieces. Some of the really, really big ones um, I'm probably just going to shred them just because it's the easiest way to deal with them. I'm going to go through and sort these guys out and decide what I'm doing with what. The ones with all the indenty bits and stuff they'll definitely be shredded um, because I can't get all the dirt out of them even though I have scrubbed them um, but I know once there I have shredded them I can then still wash them again before I put them into the dehydrator so so that's what I'm doing today um, I try to do a few different ways when I do my carrots um, I'll do circles I have done diced um, and I do shredded as well and now I'm doing the carrot sticks 
Uh, mostly I use those in um, stir fries, things like that. I have actually got a video out on the stir fry on how I use the carrot sticks and zucchini sticks in the stir fry and they, they work really well. So I'm doing some more of them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on to getting these guys sorted out and then I'm going to get those ones washed over there again. <music> ones that I'm going to shred. Basically these ones will be just a top and tail and then a bowl. I'm taking off any of the green bits where this, they've been exposed to the sun. Blanching is not required um, just for the fact that um, you can eat a carrot raw so it doesn't need to be blanched. If you choose to blanch them go ahead and blanch them. I don't personally blanch them. I haven't had any problems with them being not being blanched. It is just personal preference when it comes to something that you can eat. You know, cabbage, celery, that kind of stuff, I would not blanch. It becomes really mushy um, before you dehydrate them. They're hard to I've got my shedding blade here. The shedding blade's got two different size shredders are so large and then the other side is a small. I'm going to use a large size because again they will shrink. I've just given them a quick rinse and now I'm going to just get them shredded up. <laughs> perfectly fine to use dehydrated trays while they're still wet because uh, they're going to dry in the dehydrator anyway so um, quick tip on that if you want to dry them store them stick them back in the dehydrator when they're wet for however long it takes for them to dry and uh, they will dry now I am using the Excalibur today I have the normal mesh sheet here that goes with it and then on top of it I'm putting these oven barbecue tray things because dehydrated carrot uh, shredded carrot becomes really small once it's dehydrated um, so that sheet just helps stop it stop it from all dropping through to the next tray especially when you're emptying it into a jar Now, there's still quite a bit of moisture in this bottom bit of this, but that's okay. So I would normally put this and probably a little bit more on this tray um, to make a good use of the tray. But because I have got too much for one, but not enough for two, I'm going to shred these, spread them out. I could make it thicker and have the extra tray, but don't think my carrot sticks are going to take up that much space and I won't get through much more prep for the dehydrator today. So while I was in there getting my trays I turned the dehydrator on to warm it up to get it um, started. Um, it's a good practice to do that just to get any moisture that's already in the dehydrator so dealt with. Alright, so I'm going to go and put these in and get some more trays. These are my carrot ones, carrot sticks. Now things shrink when you dehydrate them, so 
just cut them as you normally cut them for cooking. Don't make them any smaller or any bigger. The length of them is exactly the same as well. Don't, like I was using these fresh for stir sprays, I would probably cut them smaller. But I do know that they will be partially cooked by the time they're finished in the dehydrator anyway. Carrot sticks are going to take a fair amount of time to dehydrate. Uh, like tomatoes, they take a good two days to the dehydrator or 48 hours. A lot of them do, especially if they're really juicy. Uh, carrot sticks are quite thick. Don't be tempted to cut them too small because they will pretty much shrink into nothing once they're dehydrated. So just cut them to normal size to what you would do use um, so that you were roasting that sort of thing. I uh, generally do them halves or quarters depending on the size of the carrot. So you want them in a single single layer anything like this um, they don't have to be perfectly separated but just with enough air space um, I try to make mine um, as full as possible but without completely crowding too much Um, they do shrink, so they will end up with airspace around them in the end. about 18 hours some of that it's really way past what they needed to be in here some of it will most likely still need um, a bit more time um, I've turned it off to let it cool down um, the best way to tell if something is dehydrated is when it is cooled down um, because sometimes especially with fruits and stuff like that it's it's still soft um, because there's still heat in it so I've turned it off um, so last night I rotate turned the trays and left them in there still in their order um, but we will start from the top and work our way down so this is the shredded ca uh, carrot um, this was very close to being done last night when I checked on it about 11.30 um, and it is now well and truly done so it's probably had an extra couple of hours than what it's needed but that's okay because I know that it's very, very well dehydrated. Um, the other tray, I need two. You can tell, you just feel it um, when it has that like crunchy sound to it and you can feel that there's no moisture left in it. how I sort of look at mine. And yeah, this is really good as well. What I'm on doing is I'm just gently breaking them apart because with the shredded, it does actually um, stick together a bit. So I'm just gently breaking them apart. All right, so now I'm going to put these into jars. So this is the biggest bonus with these sheets. They are just so easy to remove off them. Sometimes you get a couple of bits stuck. And as you can see, they're pretty clean. They are super easy to clean as well. So there's my carrot. I will now let that sit. 
still a little bit warm, so I might just let that sit for a little bit longer. Um, but then I'll put the lid on and I'll let it sit here on the table for a couple of days until um, I can see that there's no moisture left in it, though I doubt there will be. So now I've got the carrot sticks. Carrot sticks should snap. And these are not snapping, so they're quite bendy and pliable still. So these will go in for a few more hours. They're just, they're starting to get there, but they should snap. Like, um, and I can feel too that there's still a little bit of, they're a little bit squishy still. So they're definitely not ready. So they'll go back in. And then this is the meat tray, which has got the tomatoes, the capsicum and the carrot sticks on. Again, the carrot sticks, they're not ready. But what I'm going to do is put them all, because they're, they're all shrunk on the same tray. So when I do put them away, I just tip them off. And it's perfectly fine to move them about on the trays. Especially if you want to go and put in um, a couple more trays of something else. And then we've got the capsicum. Capsicum snaps. It is well and truly dry. Um, <laughs> the size of this capsicum has shrunk to pretty much nothing. So now this is the first time I've done capsicum. The colour has faded a little, um, but you can still tell it's a green capsicum. Um, so I'm just going to get a small, small jar. This is an old jam jar. Um, it's a store. I bought the jar. The ones with the, the red and white lids. These are fine to put things into as well, especially if you've only got a small amount of something. I don't always use them, but when I'm trying something like this, I do. So that is all we get of the capsicum. I wear little capsicums. Um, I could go and refill those two trays. At the moment, I've not really got anything to refill them with. I do like to make my dehydrator full when I'm running it, um, but sometimes, sometimes we don't always have things to fill it up with. So I'll put that on. I'll go and do what I've got to do for the day, go to work, that kind of stuff, and then I'll come back and check it again and again tonight. Hey guys, I have a confession to make with you. Um, the carrots that I have been um, pulled out the other weekend and dehydrating um, and I had them sitting in the bowl of water which I took out and then I put in the fridge uh, but with the fact that I didn't have time to do any of it a lot of my carrots have um, gone really mushy uh, just for the fact that they sat way too long so I'm not going to be able to do a pressure canning on the carrots um, so a lot of the carrots have gone quite mushy and slimy so I've pulled them out and they won't go to waste Mr Fatty Pumba Elvis he will eat those he will love those um, and this is what I have left of the bag that I had so I'm just going to shred them up today and dehydrate them as shredded carrots so sometimes things don't go as planned and um, I could have just hold not said anything but I'm trying to be um, as honest as I can along my journey um, and sharing with you guys as well. So I'm going to put these in the dehydrator today and get these dehydrated up as shredded carrot. Um, it does happen, you know, you miss your window of opportunity for certain things and um, then they either have to be thrown out or do something else with them like I'm doing today. It would have been great to try doing some pressure can carrot to see how they came out uh, I'm just gonna have to wait for the next lot of carrots that I do to try that so um, 
Yeah, I do get a bit hard on myself when I do miss the window of opportunity to do something. But, you know, that's this is how life is sometimes. You know, it's not going to waste. Um, the horse is going to get a heap of it. I've still got a heap of, you know, two trays of carrot here to dehydrate. So it's not, not a big loss. Um, probably maybe a kilo, maybe two kilos of carrots that the horse will get instead of us. Uh, but it's just how some things are sometimes. So, uh, yeah, life creeps up on you. You don't get time and you miss the opportunities. So, so don't be hard on yourself. Just do what you can when you can. Um, you know, growing your own food does take time. It also takes time to preserve it all. And um, just do what you can where you can, guys. What's this? Is that good stuff? Shall we put it in your bucket? 